Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today, I'll be doing a tutorial on Sky Replacement. Um, this is all clip dependent. I'll tell you that right away because um, I scrapped this edit because um, the clips I wanted to use, the Sky Replacement wasn't working right. Um, it was just the blue, and there's a little bit of clouds on the sky, which ruined the key. So um, I did this Sky Replacement in this little two clip edit I did. Um, yeah. It's, I just called it Scrapped IRL Edit on my channel. Um, so I'm going to hop in this comp titled Bacon. <laughs> um, this is just my clip and with the sky replacement. I'm not going to focus on these. Uh, I can do that at a later date, a different tutorial. Probably in a week or so, you'll see. I can show you how to do that um, in After Effects with motion tracking. So let me hop into my composition with my clip and my key. So it starts out regular and then the earth, just the, that picture comes up. And yeah, it's tracked. So what I'm gonna do is make a new composition. Let me just delete that. Go away. Clean up my workspace a little bit. So here's my uh, clip. Drag that on there. Got it from ClipHive. Let me just find the end of the clip. Uh, frame by frame. Come on. There we go. So right there is where it ends. So end. Trim comp to work area. Now you'll just have your clip. Um, now you're going to want to find where you want your sky replacement to really start. Let me go back into this comp, find my one marker, which is when he's, that's off. Uh, it's basically when he's about to hit the jump. So he's like right, let me see, right. Yeah, is it the one marker? Yeah, it looks weird though. So one marker, yeah, it's too far in mine. Yeah, because it's 20 from his head. So then put my marker there. That's where I want the sky to actually start. So you'll see it's like that. Boom, then he rides out. So what you want to do right away is with there's no keying on it, you're going to want to track your camera. Um, just first of all, just name this key. Uh, you'll, you'll see why in a little bit. You track your camera using the built-in tracker or Buju. Uh, I'm just going to import my camera from my last track. I'll just copy that in there. I take it you guys know how to motion track. I have a tutorial on the built-in tracker on my channel. Um, I can do a tutorial on Buju in the future if you guys want me to. But um, So I'll have my camera here. Switch the modes. So now I have a 3D camera with this uh, clip tracked. So now I'm going to type in key light, which I already did. Drag it on your clip and click your sky. And it's a pretty good key right now. You can see it's a little sketchy at the end. It's taking a little bit of this out. So what I'm going to do is let me duplicate this and name this mask. Make sure it's on top. Delete your key light and just draw a rough mask over the uh, part you don't want keyed. It's very, very rough, I know, but um, I really don't care, honestly. So once I'm going to hit M to pull up my mask path, just keyframe this, go to the end of your clip, go Shift 2 to make it a little easier, and Shift 0 back at the beginning. Some simple markers. Um, so at 1 is where I really want this to start. Let me just put it there, and then. Here is where I want it to end. I want it to be covering the basis in the mountains. Just so I don't get any keying in the way. So that mask kind of just, oh, it gets kind of shitty in there. Just go ahead a second, pull this down. It's just basic masking. If I pan through, it's fine. So there, there you go. There's your mask that covers uh, a bad key. If, you know, it starts keying out that blue right there. And a little bit of a shadow. So now what you're going to want to do is, since you have this keyed and you have your 3D uh, camera, you're going to want to import your background. I did this, uh, was it the Epic Space? Which one? No, it's Earth and BG. It was this one. This image, let me just open it up. That image, I found it on Google, Google Images. Very, very cool picture. Um, but if I keep it here where it is right now, you'll see it's not 3D. It's not tracked at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 3D layer. It's going to look weird. But I can just adjust this to my liking. What I like to do is pre-compose this, and leave all attributes in. So then just name this, you know, uh, sky. And hop in your comp. There's your there's your clip. So if I wanted to drag in, say this nebula, it's easy to switch. I go back, it's already switched, which is very easy. Um, one thing I actually did forget right here is when you're done with your key, it's good to kind of put your background in and then look at it, see how it fits. Um, you see my background doesn't really fit all the way, so push it this way a little bit. I'm just going to play with the scale. Just, let me just 
Uh, come on. Like this. I think I had it about like that. So that when it hits the one marker is the only place the sky will be starting. So I can just move this over a little bit. Drag this out. Just basically fit it to my liking. I don't really care how it looks. I just think it looks pretty cool. And then yeah, it stays throughout the whole time. So there's the background. Um, now what you want to do is fix your key a little bit. You can see it's still pretty choppy. So go to your key and I put my screen balance about 50. Fix a little bit of the key and your screen gain, you want to change this. Change it down so there's like nothing left. So it's at like 700. Let me put it at 750. Let's see what I had my value in my last comp uh, key. I had it at, I only had it at 75. Hmm. This worked pretty good. So I guess I had the screen balance at 95 and the uh, 95 and the screen gain at 75, which just seems like too little. Hmm. It's definitely smoother on here. Probably because I had some curves. I think I added some. Yeah, I added some curves in the blue, just to boost up the blue a little bit. So if I type in, you know, why type in blue? Jesus, type in curves, and drag it before your key light. Just minimize that. Go to the blue, boost it up a little bit. So boost up my blue, and you can see that's basically fixing the. It's pretty much fixing part of the. Uh, what's it called? Jeez, the key already. Let me just. Play around with this a little bit. It's all to your liking. That looks fine. And then once I have this, I can just minimize the curves. Keep playing around with the screen gain to my liking. That looks kind of bad. You see, it starts keying out part of the mountains. So say I want to keep it at 75. Put the balance maybe down to 50 again. Uh, 50. Here we go. Makes it a little bluer. Um, now what you're going to do is add some free blur. You can blur it maybe by pixel. I think I blurred it by about five because it's kind of significant. You could blur it by a ton. Doesn't really fix too much. I think I'm blurred by five pixels. Uh, go to your screen mat. If you want to shrink, you can look. You can grow your mask, or you can shrink it. If you shrink it, it can get a little weird. So I shrink it by about three or four pixels. Why is my phone ringing again? Jesus Christ! I'll be right. All right, sorry for that interruption, guys. But um, basically, you're gonna want to fix your key to the best of your liking. It's all personal preference. You can change the blue a little bit. See, fiddle around with it. If I pull it. More to the white. It's keying out that. It's all your personal preference. Um, you can shrink your mask by a little bit. You know, basically toy around with this till you get something you like. It's all personal preference, and you can see it starts keying him out, which is bad. So we're gonna say negative three. He gets a little blurry though. So negative one. Um, this isn't the best key, but if you see now, it's basically. You know, throughout, you can see that there's the mask. It starts keying that out because I don't have the mask there yet. So what you're going to want to do is take your key, go to your one marker, keyframe your screen gain, then go back a frame, change it to zero. Boom, nothing there. So it goes like that and then right to the sky. That looks nice. So what I would do from here is pre-compose these. Just pre-compose, name this tracked sky. And then you can add, say, color correction or anything else you want here. The best way to do this, I did, was uh, put an adjustment layer, name this burst. I spelled cursed. Burst, and type in CC light burst. Burst 2.5. Drag that on your adjustment layer. So on your one marker, it'll look pretty weird right away. I like the ray length down to maybe 15. Nothing too significant. Um, intensity, keep that about the same. You're going to be keyframing your ray length, so hit your keyframe, make sure you're one marker. Then drag on some transform, so you can adjust your scale, everything below it. Change the scale about 115. Basically, you want a pretty big pump. And I drag on some exposure. I put on a nice little light pump, so I think I put this up to like 3, so I'm pretty high. Three, I think it was 5. No, 4. So then keyframe that. So if you pull up your keyframes with U, you have three keyframes, go back one frame, drag these all down to zero, or whatever. So scale down 100, don't put your scale down to zero, that'd be bad. Ray length down to zero. So then go one, and then it hits that, and then you go ahead maybe 25 frames, 30 frames, which is half a second for me. Put everything back to zero. So zero. That's see, I put the scale down to zero, see what it did. 100 and zero for the exposure so it's back to normal so it goes like that and then it just pumps 
regular scale and boom pumps pretty good and then yeah it's going like that pretty nice some twixter um i you can see what i did in that last comp was that i you know i did put the little snapshots in of him just like sitting there um so you can play around with this a lot there's a lot of flexibility with the sky replacement i think it looks really really sick to have that epic space in the background so with the pre-compose you can put in anything you want in this background like i could just draw maybe some text saying like uh bacon because bacon's awesome and then just like put this like a bajillion font put it there no put it there and then go here that's the yeah see bacon it says bacon in the sky what's what's not to love about that <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you enjoyed please hit the like button below subscribe button up top um every sub helps me out a ton thanks again for watching my name is cool and i'm out adios